Hi, Eddie from Aerofast Tie Downs here. Today, I'm going to show you how to use our jet ski ratchet tie downs. With our tie downs, they come with safety clips. So when you put them on, they don't undo themselves before the tension comes on. We also have what we call a floating spare hook. So you can feed that through. That can clip on here, the hook down here. And if your jet ski or watercraft is close, we've got a protection pad, PVC, which will protect it. Basically feed it through, pull a bit of tension on it, and then ratchet it up. We have other options available as well with this tie down. So if using this is not appropriate, either you don't have a towing hook or it's going to interfere with your um, jet ski cover, you can attach it from the bottom. You don't use the spare hook, feed it through the eyelet, through to the other one, pull it through and feed through like previously. Once you've set the tie down up on your jet ski and you end up with excess webbing like this for example, there's no problem cutting it off, maybe 12 inches of extra webbing there and burn the end with a lighter so that it doesn't fray. One thing you need to be really careful of is some jet skis and PWCs have these buckets that drop down. Um, so when you start the motor up and it's on the trailer, it could come down and this can interfere with it. So I'll show you a third way that we can utilize a tie down to eliminate that problem. So another alternative, so you don't interfere with the jet mechanism, is to start at the top. So you put your hook up here, go onto the trailer, and around the bottom, and back up. So that keeps all this area clear here. 